Linus Tech Tips coverage of Computex 2013 is powered by Western Digital. Our trusted gaming gear partner is Corsair Vengeance, and our trusted retail partner is NCIX.com. Hey guys, I'm here at the Thermal Take booth with White Raw. Many of you guys might know this if you follow StarCraft 2. I'm just wondering, what got into, what, what was your inspiration for creating mice and stuff with Thermal Take? Uh, you know, I have huge experience in uh, programming science uh, 99. And uh, my goal is to help uh, new players and to make um, uh, esports more bigger. So, of course, I uh, use my experience and uh, starting work with uh, TT Sport. We work more than two years. And uh, together, starting to make uh, good products for gamers, new generation, and at the same time, all people can use it. For example, these uh, products helped me play better in my 32 years. Yes, but that can still <laughs> work all times. Okay, so I heard something earlier that the mouse and everything that you use is actually specially made for you. A lot of a lot of brands will make things after after pro players and after whoever, but they're just kind of general mice. I've heard this one is actually made for you. Is that true? Yes, it's uh, close to me, but uh, uh, these products can use uh, everyone. Yeah, course, not only in RTS games like shooters, because uh, for example, uh, which I uh, take out about. Uh, our community, games right. community. So I think it's a very great idea. It's very cool to see that it, it was actually made for you, so you'll be enjoying it the entire time, and then people with like hands like yours and play styles like yours will enjoy using it as well. Yeah, it's, uh, you can uh, use people with small hand, middle hand, big hand, and uh, choice, uh, uh, how would say, uh, different uh, resolution, like split resolution. Cool. So, yeah. Well, a lot of stuff. If it's uh, starting to talk about technical moments, it's take one, one hour, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, now some more starcraft based questions that I wanted to get to. So you said 1999, correct? Yeah. What, what kind of got you really into StarCraft, and what is your favorite moment through your entire career in StarCraft? Uh, my favorite moment is uh, when I meet with Slayer Boxer. It's a legendary gamer. Yeah. When I start to play, like I take part in a small tournaments in a little PC room. Yeah, yeah. We see some video from Korea where it's already final StarCraft take took uh, full stadium. And so Airboxer won three times in a row. And he like for legendary players. And after like seven or eight years, we meet on uh, ESW, I think, S, something like that, some tournament in uh, North yeah. Korea. And they play him in a TV game on big stage yeah. stadium. And they beat him. Uh, and after this game, I feel very good myself, and I think what my dream has come true. Yeah. Like meeting this Slayer Boxer and in Korea and beat him on real uh, game TV, it will be a very big pleasure for, for me. Yeah. That's awesome. Another thing, what are your general thoughts on HOTS so far? Uh, it's more fun, more units coming, uh, more strategy, more special like this, of course. <laughs> and. Uh, um, interest for StarCraft 2 growing up because uh, in yeah. Winds of Liberty, Blizzard not change anything like six months before uh, comments uh, hard was fine. And now, huge interest, uh, very uh, new ability, and uh, I hope uh, see in future some new new patches. Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's what my favorite part about it is how they open it up to a lot more players, bringing like the achievement system and the leveling up system and stuff. It, it yeah, attracted more. You can see people. in, uh, for example, in Cassiers, uh, more uh, information for people who don't know what happened. Exactly. If you lose connection with internet or something happened with the computer, you can uh, from yeah. replace back in this moment. It's so amazing because so cool. uh, we have so many conflict situation in tournament when two co power or something happened and uh, referees are play a game or give loose or win players, but now we just back in moment before we lose connections and uh, continue play. It, it's help uh, like see who is who in the yeah, yeah. One thing that I've really liked is just a little shout out for my brother. My brother, Cold SC, is a caster from Canada oh, yeah. and he's done a few events. One big thing is they'll lose internet connection at a LAN. You'll lose internet connection, someone will lag out, and now you don't have to completely restart the match like you were just so saying. It's helped, yes. it's so nice to be able to pick up from wherever you want. And some of the games that they did right when Heart of the Swarm was released, when they did like uh, you can pick up from where you thought you started yeah. losing, that is a very, very cool dynamic that people have started doing. I agree. Yeah. I'm going to let you go now, but it was great talking to you. Yeah, thank you. I go practice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Weather. Send waiting me. Thank you for a great day. Talk. Wish you best of luck. Thanks a lot. See you. Bye bye.
Hey guys, I hope you liked the White Raw video. If you did like the White Raw video, comment about StarCraft, comment about gaming in general. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to see all of our uh, content from Computex, and please like the video.